hey guys welcome to a new video in today's video we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is valid parenthesis so in this question we're given a string s so here is the string s given to us as the input and it contains the characters opening and closing normal bracket open close flower bracket open close square bracket so these are the three pairs of brackets that the input string is consisting of an input string is valid so here is the first condition if the open brackets must be closed by the same set of brackets so for example this means that if there is an open bracket it has to be closed with its respective close bracket so if there is a square bracket which is open it has to be closed with the square close bracket and likewise if there is a open flower bracket it has to be closed with the closed flower bracket and the second condition for validity is brackets must be closed in the correct order so here for this example if this is open there is a close bracket here now i can't close this now and then close the square brackets a bracket open has to be closed and then only the next open bracket should be closed so this would have been valid if this would have been the case so this is valid so you can see here a bracket has been opened and it has been closed with the same closed bracket so we return true as the out and here also this is one pair this is the second pair and this is the third pair so you return true as the out to solve this problem we can use the stack data structure so let's take this example so this is a stack which is a last in first out data structure so this is in and this is out now let's iterate through the input string from left to right so we are iterating through the input string from 0 to end of the uh, input string and we are accessing the character ch at the ith index position so ch for this example is now having open bracket whenever you see a open bracket while iterating so these are the three open brackets right so whenever these three open brackets are there we push that open bracket into the stack encountering an open bracket so you push it into the stack you enter it and it will be placed in the end we have an open bracket now and we proceed to the next iteration pointer which was pointing here is pointing here now now this is a closed bracket we have to check if the stack is not empty the stack should already have its corresponding open bracket so if it is closed normal bracket and the topmost element in the stack is its corresponding open bracket then you pop this element out of the stack so it means that now the stack is going to be empty now we point here now this is the open bracket right so if it is open bracket push it into the stack now let's go for the next element so this is the next element it has its corresponding closed bracket stack is not empty and the peak element is its open bracket so you remove the topmost element so you push it out so the stack will become empty again In the next iteration you're pointing here so this is an open bracket to check open brackets. So if it is an open bracket, we push it into the stack. And in the next iteration, we point here. So it is a, the stack is not empty. If it is a corresponding closed bracket, the topmost element is its corresponding open bracket. Yes, so we pop, so stack will become empty. And now we reach the end of the iteration. So finally, it will check if the stack is empty or not. If the stack is empty, return true. We have encountered all the open and closed sets and we have reached the end. So if stack is not empty, we return false. But in this case, it is empty. So you return true. So that is the expected output. Now let's try for another test case. So if S is having open but closed square bracket so in the first iteration i is here so it is an open bracket right so you push it into the stack the next iteration you point here now we have to check if stack is empty or not it is not empty so you proceed further is ch is corresponding closed bracket no it is a closed square bracket and if stack dot peak is the corresponding open bracket yes but these two are not matching so all these three conditions fail so you return false as the out so this statement will give us the false output answer and it won't reach this statement and now for another test case if s is starting with a closed bracket no matter if rest of the answer is correct this will return false right so in the first iteration you're pointing here so ch is now having this character inside it nothing will be pushed into the stack because only when you are opening bracket it will be pushed into the stack so these three conditions also fail 
so here again this statement will be returned and for this you get false as the output so only when this order is followed for these two cases for example this statement will be returned and this will give you the final answer i hope you understood the approach so the time complexity of this approach is o of n where n is the length of the string s because we are iterating through the array once and the space complexity is also o of n because we are using a stack data structure to store the input string that's it guys that's the end of the video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one I'm not your